The, the next time that I go to Dragon Con, uh, I'm probably going to have to bring my Sega Saturn and uh, my dual stick controllers and a copy of Virtual on. Because I had a, I have this standing challenge to Xavier Woods uh. of, of <laughs> like playing him in Virtual on. <laughs> And I have two of the sticks that like uh, were from the arcade machine that got adapted to the Sega Saturn. <laughs> and I know that Xavier lives close close mm -hmm. by to Atlanta somewhere, and um, I, I think he does. I don't think I've talked about it. I met him at Dragon Con and didn't realize it was him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, you I'll, have. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I don't know if you remember Modena. I'll tell you, we were, I was waiting in the, we were at the Marriott. I had some friends that were staying there, of course, waiting the ridiculous times to wait on the uh, uh, elevator to go. Well, he oh. was, he had some kind of cosplay match that where he was Mr. Freeze. Mm -hmm. And like, oh. it, like, and I didn't recognize him. You know, I'm just talking to him as, hey, a fellow Dragon Con attendee. And of course, he saw me as I was in my Ghostbuster Gear Proton Pack. We talked. Well, then later on that evening, they had the wrestling event. And one of my other friends goes, hey, that's Xavier Woods. I said, I just had a 15 minute conversation with him waiting in the elevator to know it's him. And he loved every moment of it. <laughs> oh yeah. That's because he got saying. treated like a normal person. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, um, yeah. uh, like I, I really wish that none of the wrestlers had a bad taste in their mouth when they, when they thought about Birmingham, because usually they come here to be under the knife. Yeah. I, you know, it's like, I want to tell, it was like, please reach out to me. I'll show you some of the better places to go eat, <laughs> some of the better places to go have some fun and stuff like that. Like, uh, uh, Triple H, he, him and Stephanie were, were eating at mm -hmm. Sur and West downtown. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's where I saw them. Mm -hmm. Um, Hulk Hogan pretty much stayed hidden the entire time he was here. <laughs> uh, but I mean, he's such a big name that I don't even think yeah. in Bur little old Birmingham, I don't think he can hide. Oh, no, absolutely um, not. No. You know, uh, <laughs> Kevin Nash hid fairly well, but he kind of didn't want to because it kept on going to Hooters. Uh, <laughs> 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 For the, Sp they specifically got good, the one in Hollywood. They got good boneless wings. I mean, yeah, why yeah, not? Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. The food's yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh! Who else has <laughs> been? Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to message Big E before he had uh, already gone back to Tampa. Because uh, it's like, it's like, don't don't come to Birmingham and think that like uh, I'm just here to get worked on and I hate it here and I'm going to leave. It's like, no, you remember like at one point in time in the United States they did a contest for barbecue. Mm. And Alabama had the top ten locked down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All all of the top mm -hmm. ten that year. No one, no one, <laughs> not no, no other state had anywhere on the top ten. Mm -hmm. They started at eleven and went on. <laughs> <laughs> Take so that it's Texas. like, yeah. It, it, <laughs> uh, Take that Texas, Tennessee, South Carolina. Anybody Kansas. else that claims to have great barbecue? Kansas City. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was you know. There's, there's all kinds of things in Birmingham mm -hmm. that yeah. famous people don't realize. Hey, it's pretty nice here. Like, there are several houses uh, all sprinkled all over Alabama because apparently this is the place to hide. That <laughs> 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 uh, various celebrities own very you know certain um, uh, properties. And houses where it's like you know i just want to go hide for like a month or yeah. two and they'll just yeah. come here um oh nobody oh. comes to the deep south i mean <laughs> well, not as well right that that's not true um, <laughs> there are some country music singers that have property and and homes down around enterprise alabama yeah. and i oh i don't know if i should say this hmm. uh <laughs> Do, you, do we really call it Enterprise, or do, should we just call it by its proper name, Enterprise slash Op? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, well, it's not that close to Op. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a few miles from Op. Quite quite a few miles. Cause that, that's where I'm from. So small. I, I was born in Enterprise. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm a Star Trek fan. Yeah, I've seen um, mm -hmm. But uh, Morgan Freeman, before his accident... I don't know if he's still a pilot, but his flight doctor is in the Enterprise area. 
So Morgan Freeman would show up like for his yearly flight physical around Enterprise. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Oh, Jessica, you're gonna kill me for this the guy <laughs> who plays Daryl in in Walking Dead. That would oh, be oh boy. That would be Norman Reedus. <laughs> that would be her crush. <laughs> Norman, like Norman Reedus, if if you want to meet him, all you have to do is show up to Scottsboro a couple of weeks in a row. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know he he goes to Scottsboro quite often, <laughs> um, and Scottsboro has unclaimed baggage, which is yes. another yep. nerdy thing where yes. you can go and see that we- that little statue of <laughs> or that Hogwarts. that little thing. Well, of, yeah. Hog- and, yeah. Yep, Monday, the, the funny thing there is, is we actually have a, a list of topics that we're eventually going to cover. <laughs> and that topic yeah. is actually yeah. on Uncla- our list. Unclaimed baggage for, is in that list. Well, for half a year, it's been on there. <laughs> it's been on there a long time. Because I'm like, well, you guys have got to go and see this. It's, it's, it is, it, well, it's they hobble. created a whole hobble shrine to it. Yeah. And they, and they properly maintain it, too. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. They'll well, actually okay. take it out and they'll... Yeah, they'll do the corner. You know what happened to it, though, right? (laughs) Oh, it's tried to steal it. Well, no, wait. You know that they got it, and then they Uh they let someone that wasn't quite a professional um, restore it, and it kind of looked like a um, Hmm. um, a a a a, a weird lady of the evening, (laughs) Um, (laughs) a very yeah, a very worn down lady of the evening, and um, I saw some pictures of it, but then they got somebody that came in and actually did a a rescue on it so he looks a little bit more like hoggle mm-hmm. again so it still doesn't quite look because it was already deteriorating the thing was yeah. made of late i mean it's it kind of breaking yeah. down um but i mean yeah if you go up and look at it now it looks great it's yeah. phenomenal um i know that at one point in time jim henson studios like sent lawyers to try to get it back mm-hmm. and they failed because <laughs> it was like no, because no, i mean we have receipts it legally we claimed it. because it was unclaimed baggage mm-hmm. yeah it legally and claimed it yeah yeah i wonder if if the person who properly restored it actually came from jim henson potentially I, i'm not sure because i mean i could see them i could see well depending on when it happened i could see jim or even possibly his son being so concerned for mm-hmm. for something that's that historical mm-hmm. to their their brand to want to do it right mm-hmm. and like volunteer to do it right mm-hmm. right well we may need to it because we haven't touched on that in the podcast yet we may need to since we're doing the video version now go up there as a as a foursome and yeah yeah do some video yeah. up there if they'll let us yeah i've oh, always wanted to I've always wanted to go up there. Yeah. And I've wanted to visit that. Sounds like a future trip. Mm-hmm. And you know what? <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, one of the heavier jackets I have, uh, a leather bomber jacket, I got from there. You can get all kinds of stuff cheap. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And it's it's from I mean, all around the world. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I'm one of the few Alabamians that actually have blue jeans with the fleece lining and stuff so that like, <laughs> on motorcycle, like, on, during the winter yeah. you know yeah. i'm not freezing to death right yeah. um <laughs> but oh. and to think it was in someone else's baggage at some point yep exactly. yeah. 